Long time ago, there was a queen who was fascinated with the field of maths. One day, she decided to travel in time to see how people in 21st century view maths. She was disappointed, so she decided to bring back to life three of the mathematicians who contributed a lot to the field of maths to inspire students to choose it as a subject. She held a competition to see who will be the best to convince students. My name is Shakuntala Devi. I was born in India. I am known as the human calculator. What if you don't have a calculator? Mental maths is a great way to exercise and stimulate your brain. Mental maths is used in everyday life. We're in supermarkets to calculate the best to buy and to estimate the cost of items. When cooking to double a recipe, to estimate time and distance, we all have power in us, and I want to inspire you to use that power. My name is Pythagoras. I'm famous for my theorem. We use this theorem in many situations. In the real world, to get from point A to point B, you must avoid walking through a pond. To avoid the pond, you must walk 34 meters south and 41 meters east. How many meters would it be saved if you were possible to walk through the pond? Using the theorem, walking through the pond saves 22 meters. My name is Archimedes. I was mostly famous for my thir first theoretical calculation of pi. In the world of mass and in everyday life, pi is used to calculate the circumference, the diameter, the area and the volume of a circle. Pi is used for many different tasks. Engineers who design tyres, tubing and balls use pi every day at work, for example, to determine the amount of material needed to make a basketball. Designers use pi to figure out the surface area of a sphere to calculate size. My name is Alexandra Below from Romania. I'll be the best to convince you because I'm still alive. I have made a contribution to the study of probability. Probability is the chance that something will happen. Probability is used in kids games such as cards, rock scissors paper, game boards, rolling a dice and playing heads or tails. There are 50% chance of a pregnant lady to have a boy and 50% to have a girl. Congratulations, you're all winners. <laughs> Thank you.